Good evening, everyone, and a very big welcome. My name is Lee Lin Chin. I'm from SBS, and it's my great pleasure this evening to welcome you to this special One Just World Forum to launch World Vision's global health campaign, which is called Child Health Now. One Just World is a national series of public forums sponsored by AusAid in partnership with the International Women's Development Agency and World Vision Australia. These organizations are joined by a university partner in each city. And here in Melbourne, it's the University of Melbourne. We are delighted to see you here tonight to join us in pondering the question, global health. Why are the most vulnerable forgotten? And to launch child health now. But firstly, I want to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we stand and to pay my respects to their elders past and present. Respecting the rights and contributions of indigenous peoples has been an increasingly important strand in international development. One Just World is about providing a platform for ideas and conversations about critical development issues and how these might be addressed to enable you to talk directly with those involved in development, make your suggestions, and find out more about ways in which you can contribute and participate. Tonight, we are asking the question, why? Why, with all the resources at our disposal, are more than nine million children under five dying each year from disease? Why do one in every 12 children in a country like Cambodia die before their fifth birthday? Why are there so many similar situations happening daily in developing countries around the world? Why is this allowed to happen and why does it continue to take place? Many die from preventable causes such as pneumonia, diarrhea, and malaria. Through the Millennium Development Goals, wealthy countries like Australia promise to tackle the situation. We all have a moral responsibility to help. Australia has made some progress, but much more needs to be done. We know that two-thirds of these deaths could be prevented within five years. The solutions are simple, and the costs are low. Breastfeeding, improved maternal health, and clean water can save lives right now. What's missing? We're not working together. Poor communities, international organizations, governments, and people in developed countries, including Australia, all need to join forces to tackle this shocking state of affairs, the violation of children's rights, and to stop children from dying. It can be done, but we need your help. Tonight's participants, Professor Trevor Duke, the Reverend Tim Costello, Ms. Tracy Spicer, Ms. Sigrid Thornton, Ms. Amelinda da Costa Montero, Ms. Sue Dwala and Dr. Sri Chanda will help us answer the question, how? 